sound plays a very important role in early Greek mythology, in Homer and Hesiod. Um, we often think of Zeus ruling with the lightning bolt, but of course we forget what follows from the lightning bolt, and that's the thunder, right? And the sound plays a really important role in the ability of Zeus to govern, right? In a sense, to scare other gods and other people. What is the relationship of sound to space? What is the relationship of humanly constructed spaces to humanly constructed sounds? These are all the kinds of questions Toon City is interested in asking. But I think it's in early Greek city-states where thinkers and urban planners, and I like to think citizens, started asking those very same questions. I believe that the principal, let's say, political potential of art is shifting uh, categories of thought, making us see things in different ways, making us realize that things we thought were absolutely set in stone, in fact, are constructs, and that we can think in different ways about them. And this is best done through experimentation, through pushing boundaries, through trying different ways of doing things. Then how about doing a tuned city in, a, in an X city, but a city which is still very much, uh, you know, it has the fabric and the structure of a city. You can feel that it's a city. And it has also the stru structure and the fabric of a city that was very systematic, very organized, uh, and organized in a way in which urban design and architecture was absolutely integrated precisely into political power. I mean, it was uh, the city itself is an instrument of political power. Uh, and so this seems absolutely in tune, if I may say, with the concept behind Tune City. It's about listening uh, and thinking through sound about this politics of space and sound. It's listening politics. What I would say about sound is, is it's something that doesn't exist. Um, so if sound doesn't exist and it's something that's contextually, historically and socially constituted every time anew, that means that there are an infinite amount of sounds that are possible. Music is what is done from that infinity.
for me, sound is almost kind of a camouflage. You might see it as a festival from the outside, and of course it has that part. It's for an audience, but it works also internally. So we bring together a group of people like thinkers, artists, researchers, an amazing bunch of people, and make them talk to each other with their work. It's exactly this, this kind of social situation we create, where people come together and focus on something and move things a step further. It's still using sound to get people in a situation where you can deal with other questions. Just in the same way in autoacoustic emissions, the, the ear makes sound. There's a way that the, the body emits light and it emits light within the rhythm, sort of sluggish response to our position in the solar system. Uh, I want to keep those pathogens out. It's not to make a friend of a pathogen. But to say that there's a very complex equilibrium that's in a constant shifting pattern. Το Tune City είναι το αποτέλεσμα ενός πολύ μεγάλου residency με 60 καλλιτέχνες μαζί με ανθρώπους που έχουν μιλήσει θα μιλήσουν οι οποίοι πολλοί από αυτούς έχουν συνεπάρξει για δύο εβδομάδες και έχουν δημιουργήσει project ή έχουν εμπνευστεί για να δημιουργήσουν project από την περιοχή και τα ηχοτοπία της περιοχής. If you do a project like that, um, that you not stick to maps, because maps are something which are there then forever. And actually, this project is is not about making maps. It's about kind of finding new ways of mapping. It's about that to to connect to a place, to to build a relationship, to understand the place, and then to develop something out of that.